93 boxing I'm back with a quick video the Canelo and Triple G fight have passed a few days it's Wednesday today and before the fight before the prediction even and even in the prediction I mentioned that there's questions about both of these fighters because we have not seen Canelo against a fighter at 160 let alone Triple G we've not seen Triple G against a guy of Canelo's skill level and before the prediction video, I also made a keys to vi victory video. And before that, you know, a few, maybe a few weeks or even months before that, I talked about the questions that I have for Canelo and Triple G going into the fight. The questions, even though I picked Canelo to win, and I feel like Canelo kind of edged it out. I don't have a problem with the draw. The questions have been answered, and I want to talk about how I think they've been answered watching the fight. Some of the questions I had, um, can Canelo take Triple G's punch? That was really the main question I had. Canelo has been hit by, I mean, early on in his career, he's been hit by, I think, Miguel Cotto's brother or something. And he took the punch pretty well. I mean, he was young back then, you know, young. When you're young, when you don't have too many experience, too much experience, part of taking a shot is seeing, seeing the punch in the first place and then reacting to it. You know, when you're young, you may not see the punch coming as effectively. You know, you're on a big stage. So, or you're at least in a big stage compared to the amateurs or compared to... At least for you, it's a big stage, right? But there's a lot of people watching it. You know, you might be a bit nervous. You might want to perform a bit better. You know, when you get caught, you're like, oh shit, I'm getting caught in front of these people. You know, what do I do? And you, know, you might not see the punch coming as effectively as you do right now. So, you know, those things do take into uh, effect. And Canelo did get rocked in that punch a bit, but he never went down. Other than that, Canelo's never been caught hard to a point where you thought Canelo's about to go down. Never. But then again, Canelo's never really faced huge punches. I mean, at 154, he fought Liam Smith. Liam Smith's got some pop. Um, there's a few guys that he fought that got some pop, but not like a huge, huge puncher. He moved up in weight to fight Triple G, who we know is a uh, puncher. And the answer is Canelo can take a shot. He has a chin. And with that chin, he also has the ability to roll with punches. When you roll with shots, basically you're kind of moving your face away. Your, your, your chin and your face away from the punch. So the impact of the punch is reduced. Even on uppercuts, I see him rolling on shots. Canelo really has a chin, he, and he has the skills to see the punch coming and also react properly when it comes to taking the punch. So in my opinion, yeah, he does uh, have a good chin. Can Triple G take a shot? That was also one of my questions. A lot of people was going to say, yeah, Triple G can easily take a shot. And I did question saying that Kelbrook came up with an uppercut and both of Triple G's feet was off the ground and Kelbrook made him feel his punches. He wasn't hurt too badly, but I felt like he was stunned just a bit. Um, I feel that he took a punch really well from Canelo. He did get rocked a bit. They both got rocked just a little bit, you know. I, I feel like Triple G got rocked a bit more just because he got hit with a few uppercuts. He got hit with a few shots and everything. But, man, he took them shots solid, man. He took it really solid. Um, there was a right hand, a big right hand that Canelo caught him with and he took it really well. He kind of rolled a little bit, like he saw the punch coming, he was trying to move away from it just a little bit at the end. If you watch the slow motion replay, but he, he took a solid shot on the chin, nothing really happened to him. And Canelo's a, Canelo can punch. In that fight, we felt like, you know, you know, we always came on to thinking that, or at least most people came into thinking that Canelo was not as big of a puncher as Triple G. And the, the difference between the power was big. But watching the fight, I don't think the difference between the power was huge, you know. They both have kind of different kind of power. But, the, you know, Canelo's got a punch in there. And they both got a chin. They both really got a chin. Maybe Triple G has a slightly better chin. We don't know. Because Canelo was rolling with some of those shots. So even though he has a good chin, he, you know, he has a technique to be able to take some of these shots. Triple G was actually, instead of rolling on the shots, which he, some of them he may have done a little bit, but he, some of those shots, he was coming into those shots. 
he went down as the uppercut was coming up, which was crazy. <laughs> so as Triple G was getting caught like that, I personally thought like he took it really well. There's a few other questions as well. Oh, by, by the way, Triple G didn't react well to those body shots. And that's not to say he can't take a punch to the body. Canelo was digging to the body like a lot of fighters haven't digged to the body on Triple G. He didn't respond to those body shots at all really well. Like, I mean, we can t I could tell that he was getting stopped on his tracks. There were a few other questions. I felt like they've all been answered properly, but, you know, um, kind of vaguely they've been answered. But that was really the main question. Can they take a sh shot from each other? And, you know, they both show toughness. They both are tough. And they both could bang it out with each other a little bit. There's a few things that have been released is... Triple G does, as I said, Triple G don't like getting hit to the body. And Triple G is, he can get caught with the uppercuts. He can really get be caught with the uppercuts. Canelo did hit him with right hands, like like he hit him with that right hand. But Triple G was, the good thing about that was Triple G maintained the distance from him. And I think if he was closer, and if, he, if Canelo came in like he did against Khan, I think he might have rocked him a bit harder. But I don't know. I don't know, one thing did, that get, got exposed by Canelo is his stamina. His stamina, right? Canelo did not get hit to the body too much. But what he did do is, he every shot he threw was pretty much hard shots almost. Like, he was committed in there. And, you know, Canelo did show some stamina problems, a little, like, just a little bit. He fought in spurts, and he kind of showed stamina problems in here as well. Canelo kind of moved up in weight division. I guess, he, I guess, bulked up a little bit. That might have affected his endurance. But I think he might get used to it. And in the rematch, his endurance might improve a little bit. Keep in mind, like, Triple G was applying a lot of pressure on him. You know, that must take something out mentally. And, I mean, not, not a lot of it was not effective, but he was, Triple G was right, not too far away from him a lot of times. But more importantly, Canelo was moving more than he did before. He showed footwork. Canelo showed footwork. That was also another thing he showed. He showed good footwork. And I guess he used more footwork than he ever did. He was bigger than he ever did. He was throwing more hard punches, in my opinion, than he ever did. Because, I mean, actually, he threw punches against Angulo. But Angulo was not throwing anything back to him. So, you know, it, would, it wouldn't be too much of a mentally fatiguing task to beat Angulo. But, you know, he... Um, for those reasons, I feel like Stamina suffered a bit more. But, you know, as he gets used to 160, and as he gets used to his weight, and used to his opponent's weight, because, you know, this is experience. It's a 12-round experience where you got used to, where you got to experience a 160 fighter on him, you know, jabbing on him, trying to trying to put the pressure on him, and things like that. So it will improve his stamina a little bit. Plus, he knows what his weakness is. It's the stamina part. When Canelo threw, when he was trying to get the better of Triple G, a lot of times he did. Canelo, in my opinion, would beat Triple G more convincingly in a rematch. If you think about it, there's not a lot of things that I can say that Triple G sh should have done. I mean, what should have Triple G done in this fight more than that, that we think he didn't do? Was he a bit more cautious? Yeah, but at the same time, on round 12, he was not as cautious as he should have been. I mean, he was not as cautious. And, you know, he, Canelo was... Catching him with shots. The only thing is, when Canelo was getting tired, Triple G should have put more punches, more combinations together. That's really the only thing Triple G should have done. And I think he will be better on the rematch. But I feel like Canelo could have done a lot of different things. Canelo could have put together combinations. Triple G is a fighter that does not throw when you are throwing and landing combinations on him. I've said this before. I've said this in my first video when I made... And my first video was about Triple G versus Kell Brook. I said this. I saw this from William Monroe Jr. I felt like that was one of Triple G's weaknesses. And Canelo would capitalize on that. That's what Canelo did not do. Is he did not capitalize by throwing combinations on Triple G. Especially on the inside. I mean, actually he did. But he didn't throw some long combinations. Unlike the round 12 where he did throw a big combination. Like six punches maybe. He could do that a bit more. But that was affected by stamina, I think. Actually, you know, when I think about it, he does. He did throw some combinations, but I think he could have done a bit more with the combinations as opposed to only single shots. I feel like he could have thrown more combinations and not as much single shots. 
But you know, true, he was catching triple G with single shots here and there as well, and he did good. I feel like his stamina was the main reason why Canelo could didn't do better. And in the rematch, I think that will improve, and a few tactics here and there will improve as well. He should go to the body a bit more. He stopped going to the body, and that's when Triple G started getting uh, the upper hand. But I feel like in a rematch, Canelo will definitely Canelo will definitely get him. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment down below. Subscribe to my channel, 93 Boxing. I'm out.